Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is the tripeptide shown is formed from the amino acid alanine, threonine and lysine. And the first question, draw a separate circle around each of the asymmetric carbon atoms in the tripeptide. So what we call a symmetric carbon atom? This is such an atom, such a carbon atom, which is connected to four different groups or four atoms, which are different. For example, let's consider an alanine, this carbon atom, it connected on one side to acyl group, amino group on the other side to hydrogen and carboxylic group on the other side. So all these four groups are different. So we can say that this carbon would be asymmetric or chiral. So now let's circle it in red color. Now let's consider zeranine and again this carbon atom here is going to be asymmetric or chiral because it's connected to amino group, hydrogen group, carboxylic group and R group here. So we also can circle it but in zeranine we have another atom in R chain which also going to be asymmetric and chiral because it's connected to methyl group on one side, to hydrogen on the other side, to alcohol on the third side and to this carbon on the fourth side. So it's also going to be chiral carbon. Now let's consider the last amino acid and of course this carbon here is going to be chiral just like in other amino acids, it connected to four different groups. And now let's consider this R chain. For example, if this carbon is going to be chiral, it's not because on both sides it's connected to hydrogen. So it's not going to be asymmetric and not going to be chiral. So we basically now show all the chiral carbons in this tripeptide. Now we can move to the second question, draw the zwitterin form of the alanine. So here's the alanine. So let's start with alpha carbon or we also can say asymmetric carbon and here's a methyl group on top. So CH3 and carboxylic group here on the side. So and amino group here H3N. And as you see, we have here one extra hydrogen. So this group would have positive charge. And here we miss hydrogen. So this group would be negatively charged. So we call such amino acid zwitter ion because it has both positive and negative charge. Both of them will cancel each other and this molecule, this amino acid would be on the overall neutral. This is what we call zwitter ion amino acid when amino group has positive charge and carboxylic group has negative charge. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next video. Goodbye.